Hi, my name is Tony Sumaristi, class of 1981. Uh, I was an econ major. I went to the business school, class of 86. I wrestled all four years and uh, played football as well and lived in Winthrop House here at Harvard. I actually competed in three weight classes, not 190, 177, 167, but I was primarily a 177 pounder here. Well, probably the match that, that was most memorable was one I didn't wrestle in. Uh, it was a match where Andy McNerney was down close to 15 points to Tommy Bull from Lehigh. And Tommy Bull made a huge mistake in the third period and, and chose down. And Andy rolled it up on him. <laughs> and I think the match might have gone into overtime. <laughs> I, I think Andy may have lost that match. It was his uh, freshman or sophomore year. He didn't lose many after that, but it was one of the most exciting matches I'd ever seen in my life at that point, and, uh, to see a guy come back from that far behind. Personally, um, I think I had a match my freshman year when I was down 9-2 to two, uh, and uh, caught a guy in the third period. That, that, was, a, that was a memorable match. A um, couple wins against Yale few other things, but then they were all loved. Uh, I'll enjoy it. With, without a doubt, uh, it was Johnny Lee and, and the people that wrestled for Johnny Lee, uh, guys on our team. I loved being a part of Harvard Wrestling. Uh, I was injured more than I was healthy in my four years here. Uh, and the thing I remember most uh, was Coach and and the fun we had together, the experiences we had, and the guys on the team. Whether it was playing hearts on the bus with Gordon Lee and Mulva Hill and John Franklin and that crew that, that ran my first couple of years or the last couple of years when I was injured most of the time when we had, got a great crew of guys in from Andy McNerney and Paul Reederman and Jim Fills and Fritz Campbell. Uh, terrific wrestlers, but it was the time we shared together. Uh, and I felt the same way about the time when I was coaching. Very, very enjoyable experience, um, both when I was in school and when I was at graduate school serving as an assistant coach. Well, I, I went back to my native California thinking I'd never traveled east again uh, in 1981. And three years later, here I was back in grad school and coaching. Uh, and after a couple of years, I decided to head to Wall Street. It was an interesting experience. Uh, I think a lot of the things I learned in sports really helped me in my, uh, not just the competing part, but the getting along with others. The things I learned in the locker room and on the bus and being a part of a team that really helped me in my career on Wall Street and then again at the Chicago Board of Trade in the early 90s. And, and then in 1996, I struck out on my own and, uh, and started my own firm in Gross Point, Michigan. And I think that many of the things that, that I learned as a wrestler and as a leader uh, were transitioned into the business world and, and were of great benefit to me in learning to lead and to get along well with others and to learn to lead by serving. Well, I would say, you know, be excellent. Be the very best you can be. Try and get exposed to great wrestlers and people who train hard and excel and have achieved a lot and trying to understand what they did to get there so that you can follow in their path. But more than that, I would say savor the time you have here with your teammates and your coaches. Enjoy the competition. Uh, compete hard. But at the end of the day, what you're going to take away are the relationships and the memories you have with your teammates and your coaches in your four years here.